YouTube, it's your girl Tammy C. Walker. Today's video is go on and get your happy on. You know how uh, Missy Elliott said, go on and get your freak on. Well, this one is go on and get your happy on. This video is about, um, you know, chasing that happiness. It's something that many of us do. I would say most people do. It's, it's safe to say that we just want to be happy. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, if you stay with me till the end of this video, I will give you some tips on how you can find your own happiness and take that stress and pressure off someone else to fulfill that for you. But before I do all that, hit that like button, hit subscribe, the notification bell. I have not been consistent with my videos. I sincerely apologize trying to take care of the people um, due to COVID. There has been an influx of clients. I can barely keep up with the clients that are coming in for anxiety and depression. I just want to be honest and transparent with you um, that my first call of duty is to try to help as many clients as I can. I get overwhelmed. Sometimes um, this can be, it can be some rough weeks sometimes. So bear with me, but I'm trying to balance it all out. But this was on my heart to do this video because this is a topic that I keep hearing over and over and over. So what is up with being happy? What is this big thing that we all want? Because I'm right there with you, I'm right there with you. So first of all, happiness, let's see. Where does it come from? Is it external? Does it come from person, place, or thing outside there somewhere? Or does it come from an internal source such as ourselves? And the answer is ourselves. We can be happy on our own. Anybody else that's added is a plus or a bonus. I'm gonna give you an example. Let's pretend it's Friday this week, Friday coming up. You are off work. You took a vacation day. You go get a pedicure and a manicure. Ladies and men, some men don't want to do that, but let's pretend it's one of us ladies, and you go do that. Well, before you do that, yeah, before you do that, you go have breakfast by yourself. Then after your breakfast, you go for a nice long walk. It's 70 some degrees, beautiful wherever you are. I'm in Illinois. You go sit by the pond. You're watching the geese in the water. Hey, stars are lining up. Well, not stars because it's daytime, but you know the phrase, the stars are lining up. Everything's going good for you that day. It's payday. So after you leave your breakfast and after you leave the pond, you go back home and pay a couple of bills. Sorry to throw them bills in there, but you got the money to pay them. It's all good. You're working on a book. So you go put some finishing touches on your book. Then you go get your pedicure and manicure. Later that night, you're going to meet a friend for um, a game of bowling, some a bite to eat and a nice glass of wine, whiskey, whatever you like. And that's just a, hey, to, like Ice Cube said, today was a good day. So you see how good that day sound. But in the beginning, it did not involve another person. It just involved you living your best life. And I just did that scenario to show you we don't need another person to always be happy. This is what I keep hearing. We're waiting on somebody to come in and save the day. And when he or she does not do what we deem they should do, we're down in the dumps. That's some, ah, oh man, I feel like saying a bad swear word. That's just messed up. And it's okay if you don't know any better. It, it is absolutely okay. But this video is going to get you unstuck. If you would follow my lead and listen to me, I'm not talking about what I think I know. I'm talking about what I have lived through. And for you all that don't know, I am 50 years old. I've been divorced 20 plus years and I have been through some stuff. So I'm telling you stuff I had to do on myself. So that's why I do these videos because it's stuff I do and live. Okay, so to be happy, it's not dependent upon a lady or a man. It's an internal job. So um, once you work on self, let's just say you are battling with depression or anxiety. When I say that, I'm not talking about severe depression where you have to be in an inpatient facility or outpatient facility. I'm talking about, um, they call it ex 
existential. Oh God, I think I'm mispronouncing it. But what it means is an external thing is causing this depression. You lost your job, you broke up with your boyfriend, you're getting a divorce, um, you lost your home, stuff like that, which is no small feat. I'm not minimizing it, but some people, they are waiting on this relationship or this million dollars to make them happy and they're not living their best life. That's what this video is about. Waiting on something or someone to bring you happiness. And that's a fallacy. That's not going to work. It's going to keep you stuck. It's going to keep you frustrated. And you are not going to be happy. Okay? So, um, if you are battling with that, I'm going to tell you some things you can do. Now, I get frustrated. I'm frustrated because I give out good advice, but people don't do it. Now, not because I'm a know-it-all. But I know that this can help. And Ian LaVanzant speaks of this. You have to do the work. So if you are struggling with mild depression, you know, you're down because you want this guy. You're in a relationship and it kind of is not the best relationship. You have this lady. Your relationship is not the best relationship. And your mood is dependent upon them. This is what I'm talking about. Mm, that's not going to work. So I, what I want you to do is take the focus. Off of him or her and put it back on you because you got to remember these things. You are the star of your show. Everybody else just supporting cast members. Baby, this is your show. Like this is my YouTube channel. This is Tammy Sharice Walker show. Your life is your show and they lucky. Look, they lucky to be a part of your show. And that's how you have to think of it. Not arrogance or cockiness, but confidence. Be confident in who you are. So, um, if it's your show and you want that relationship to work with her or him and it's not working, get that focus off of them. Who is it going to be on? You. Why is it going to be on you? Because it's your show. You the star. So get that in your mind. Number two, um, if you are depressed and it's to the point where you can't get out of it, EAP provider, psychology or psychology today or a lot of other platforms now. Get on that computer, get on the phone, make an appointment. If no one will call you back after you call four or five, call seven. We will call you back and get you some help. It's nice to run this stuff, you know, by a therapist or a counselor. However, if your session is one hour, if your session is 45 minutes, do not spend all your time talking about that lady. Don't spend all your time talking about some man. Use some of those minutes to better yourself. You, you know... <laughs> It's just a waste of time. It's okay when you're hurting. You do want to talk about that person over and over. But after a while, cut that off and go to you and say, how can I help myself? Or some of my clients, they'll be like, I'm not talking about that no more. Um, today, can we talk about me? Uh, hey, I was waiting for you. You know, I try to redirect them, but it is their session too. And I do want them to get it out. So, okay, after you've done step two, if you have to, how about three? Let's journal. Affirmations. I am worthy of love. I am deserving of a new home. I am deserving of a better career. I am a great person. I am happy. I am whole. Even if you don't feel 100% of that, affirmations, affirmations, affirmations. Write it down. If you don't want to write it down, there are some beautiful YouTube videos that say these things. Pop your earbuds in and listen over and over. Repetition, repetition, consistency will change your life. What about meditation? I talk about this over and over and over and over. People don't want to do it. It is mind-boggling to me. Seriously, mind-boggling. Five minutes a day. If you have a Fitbit like me, there is a five-minute meditation on Fitbit. Pop your earbuds in for five minutes and meditate and do it for two weeks at least. They say 21 days, but try two weeks and tell me how you feel. You're going to feel a lot calmer because what's happening is you are obsessing over getting this person or obsessing over getting a new job, whatever your obsession is. And it's like when you do that, it's lack. You're saying, I don't have him. I don't have her. I don't have it. Focus on you. Why? Because again, you're the star of your show. So meditation. Okay, we got the affirmations. We got called EAP provider. 
if it is that severe. And number one, you just got to keep that focus on you. Also, in addition to everything I said, um, you definitely want to journal. What is it that you want? I want to get married. Write it down and say it like this. I am certain I will be getting married. I am certain that I will be successful. I am certain I am successful. I am certain that I am an author. I am certain that I am an entrepreneur. I am certain that I am a business owner. I am certain, whatever you want, I am certain that I am a homeowner. I am certain that I am a mother. I am certain that I am a father. Whatever it is you want, write it that way. And guess what? You do that every day. I write that stuff out every day. I done got so fancy, you all. I write it in two notebooks. I put it, well, I didn't put the exact same words, but I write some stuff in my plain notebook. Then I have a fancy journal that a beautiful former co-worker gave me a few years ago. And I use purple ink because I just love print. And I feel like that's royal ink. But get down, look, get down with the get down and journal. Do your meditation. You know, the thing is, if you're fighting for your happiness, you have to go all out as if your life depends on it because it truly does. Get in the, the great Les Brown says, you got to get hungry. You got to get hungry. That's it. You got to fight for your happiness. It is not contingent upon a relationship. Pack your suitcase. July, August, September, October. Get out of your town. Go somewhere. Oh, it's COVID. Hey, get vaccinated if you want to. I am. I'm not telling you to do it, but you want to travel, it might be better. But don't sit there and feel sorry for yourself because it's going to sound painful what I'm saying. But people, they're not going to check on you. They're not going to care because everybody's frazzled right now. It's a, it's a virus. It's a pandemic. So people are, they're about self. They've been about self anyway, but they're really about self now. And if you wait on somebody to come along and save the day and check on you and pick you up, you have to do it yourself. I'll never forget one time I was so depressed, probably in 2005 or six. I want to say 2005. So depressed, I called seven to eight people. Nobody answered my call. Nobody. And I just got on my knees and started praying. God heard me. He did, you know. So that, that taught me a valuable lesson. I don't depend on other people to lift me up. Now, yeah, there are times I call friends or my sisters or my niece, you know, just to talk to them or maybe even if the mood is a little low, I know I hear their voices, it's going to pop me up. So that's a blessing, but everybody's not going to be available for us every time. If you want it, you got to go get it. And one thing, the reason why I do these videos, I believe in you. I know you can get that happiness that you deserve. You can, but it may take no may, it will take some work. And I just hate to see people suffer when they don't have to suffer. Once you work on you, the things you desire are going to fly into you. Not, not slowly, quickly. The guy, the girl, the lady, the man, the job, the income. Once you focus on good things, love, light, beauty, yourself, you know, exercise, juicing, um, taking your vitamins, whatever it is to make yourself feel better, you're going to draw in goodness. So get ready because it's going to come fast. But you must do the work. And the key is to stay consistent and take that pressure off of even a family member or your kids to make you happy. You and you alone are responsible for your happiness. You deserve it. So do something this weekend that will bring you joy. Don't wait on someone you know to let you down you let yourself up and help yourself up get up and you know go find your happiness you deserve it get your happy on get your happy on so that's what i got for you before i go pop in those comments and let me know what you do to stay happy or what you plan on doing if you can give people extra advice it's always good i always get the best comments these people are fabulous. Um, Y'all know me, Tammy C. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. I don't work two jobs. I gotta get out of here. But um, God bless you all. Uh, I'm sending you all light and love. And thank you for your patience with me. And we'll be, we'll be, ooh, we will be back in touch. Bye bye.